Hi, everyone. My name is Rosie Bremitz, and I, I'm a data strategy coach and consultant, and I help CEOs and founders build their product by understanding their customers better with data. I've always wanted to do a podcast, and so this is an experiment. So you can leave comments after, after this, this, um, this video and tell me if it works, where, where, I, where we can improve, etc. So the, the idea is to, to introduce people that I, that I come across and I work with that I find really interesting, and I think they should have a platform where to, to share their, their message. And here it is. So today I'm talking with Lucy. Her name, uh, Lucy Wilson. Hi, is, hi Lucy. Um, Lucy is building a business called Shine Strong Revolution. And her mission is to change the way we look after our mental and physical health. So without further ado, um, I'm going to ask you, hi, hi, Lucy, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you, Rosie. Yeah, looking forward and to talking to you. Mm -hmm. That's great. Me too. Um, where, so what, can you just tell us a little bit about Shine Strong Revolution and where your inspiration for it came from? Yeah, so um, I've always been interested in looking after myself physically and mentally. I've suffered with anxiety for years and it got really bad when we were all stuck in lockdown. And I realized how much I rely on going out into nature and spending time in green spaces and doing exercise and how that would help me feel grounded and just, yeah, just, you just feel so much better. And then when we went into lockdown, obviously that was taken away and that had a real impact on me. And it made me think about the fact that for a lot of people, accessing nature is really hard to do all of the time. Um, depending on circumstances where you live or if you have physical or mental health problems sometimes you can't get out um also if you have an illness or something like that then it can be a real struggle and my idea was can we bring nature to people at home whilst doing um physical exercise as well and exercises for your mind at the same time so it's like a holistic approach um because i found that um i found the research that looking at green images and videos can also have a really um, strong impact on your mental health as well, can help relax oh, wow. you, can help relieve stress. And people who have had an operation or re recovering from some sort of illness, it can speed up their recovery if they surround themselves with images of nature. Fantastic. Wow. And yeah. so who, who, will your, who will your classes help? Is it for adults? Mm -hmm. Is it for children? No, I wanted to go across the board because I think that a lot of stuff that we see you know is is often just very very fit people uh, you know sort of younger really fit people so I wanted to do something you know for everybody so we've got kids for classes and um, <laughs> classes for kids all the way up to your great grandmother so you know slow stretch and breathe classes or we've even got a seated Fantastic. class I want to try and do classes for people who've got disabilities as well because I think they're very neglected a lot of stuff is just for people who are really fit we've and we've got those classes as well we've got a hit class a Pilates class but we've also got a really gentle class for people um, and I want to make sure I expand on that a lot as well for people who can't get out and so what are your challenges what what kind of challenges are you facing right now so financially <laughs> it's been a very uh -huh. it's been a yeah. very expensive project I think when I started it I never would have imagined it would take so much time and money and I mean I'm massively invested in this so I I'm more than happy to spend all of my time but the money ran out we filmed all of our classes um with a local tv studio and we filmed them all the instructors against the green screen so that I could edit in all the montages of the natural world behind. So forests, fields, beautiful beaches and islands and things like that, which is fantastic, but obviously it, it's cost quite a lot of money. So we need to create an app now so that we can bring the classes to everybody. And that's, yeah, that's my financial um, drain at the moment. But we've, I've started a crowdfunding campaign, which is going quite well. Um, we've raised a thousand pounds so far, but we're on, on trying to raise 10,000 pounds to have the app created. Um, and people who sign up, um, who kindly donate, then do get access to the classes before anybody else. So we're offering a sort of tiered structure system. So yeah, so it's uh, really nice because I'm really excited about people trying the classes and to get the feedback to see what they think. So, okay, so it's for all ages. Um, I love the, the idea for the children as well because um, you know it's getting dark, uh, winter's coming now when this video is, is being recorded. Um, and it's it's almost it's hard uh, to to get children motivated, get them off their TV, off their computers, and off their to get iPads, them outside, yeah, <laughs> and get them outside. So this would be a really really good alternative. Um, so 
when, when we're working together, you're, you're, you don't have data yet, right? So I help you, I help you understand your customer better with data. So how, how did you, even though you don't have data as a, as a very early stage founder, how has, how have our sessions helped you, um, you know, kind of map out mm-hmm. your content and, and your social media content, for example? Yeah. So, so, I mean, it's been amazing working with you so far and understanding data. Data is not, I can, I can have my hands up and say that data was not something that I'd even really considered before we started having our sessions. Um, but after speaking to you, then we've worked together. You've helped me to look at all the different defogra- demographics of all the different people that we want to help and then realize each of the different classes, we need to structure the content differently. So we've built, um, I've built a content plan which reflects that. So I'm trying to make sure that each of the bits of content that I create will link up to one of the different classes and the different demographics so we can show them how the classes can help them specifically. And then we'll be able to use that to see afterwards which ones have been more successful once we do start being able to um, have people using the classes. That's 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 a music to my ears. Um, <laughs> and also, uh, because you're an early stage, right, you, you need to understand what kind of classes are mm. mostly um engage people are people are engaging with mostly so mm-hmm. you're you're also going you've also um you've also ha- had that data mindset to to to, to understand mm-hmm. now whenever when people start using your app um, yeah. and, and and engaging with your content to actually you know understand which content is being engaged mm-hmm. with the most so which videos are being watched the most mm-hmm. and so that would mean that you would create more of those videos yeah. Instead of instead of yeah, you know, much more of a push on to making sure that we watch the analytics and look and see and know you know there's all this because sometimes you look at the back end. I've worked on websites for years and you look at the back end and you you know you look at a few trends and things. But this has really focused my mind onto onto what I need to do in the future to make yeah. sure that yeah we pick up on what is popular, what maybe people don't like as much, and then also with the option to then try and get feedback from the community that we create exactly. and say and reincorporate maybe that. this hasn't been as popular tell us why can we improve yeah. this area you know what is there that you could we could make this better like say on the hit classes some different thing different exercises that we would add yeah. in or something on the um on the uh breathe and stretch are there things that you can can, can do a bit more of or are there some things mm-hmm. that we need to help or maybe even have an extra class that we bring in for people who are just in a wheelchair who are seated and things like that so yes yeah, really opened up my mind um so my it doesn't mind matter how we can use it yeah so it doesn't matter really if you don't if you haven't collected data yet the fact that you get into a data strategic mm. mindset from the yeah. start is mm. is why I do what I do um and it's it's, yeah. it's really music to my ears to hear that you you've, you've really implemented that that strategy Okay, so where you said you said you've you've uh, you've launched a, a crowdfunding campaign, yeah, um, to help you launch this, get this off the ground. Um, mm-hmm. We'll include we'll include uh, the link to the to that crowdfunding campaign in this in this uh, in this the, the the description of this video. Um, and if you if you had a mission, if you had a a, a, a message to your to your potential um, customers. Um, what would you what would you want them to know what would what are you, what's your mission what would you want them to know oh my mission is that I just I want people to have the time because we, I'm a mum I'm trying to work and we're always so busy and I want people to be able to work on their physical and mental health together because I think often we work on it in isolation even though so I'm somebody who's had anxiety for years but I don't I don't spend enough time looking after my mental health in our classes we've put in affirmations positive affirmations and meditations alongside the the beautiful imagery and the physical exercises so you can really look after everything together because I just think you know this is something that you can do and you'll look off the whole of yourself at one time you know and you can give it to your children to do the same and it's just something that you can do to look after yourself and feel better I don't care I'm not this isn't I'm not creating classes to try and encourage people to um lose loads of weight or look you know that to be in the body beautiful and wear skimpy outfits and if that's what you like then that's okay but this that's not what this is about I want people to just feel really good about themselves feel really healthy in their mind and their body that's my that's my mission fantastic and and your personality which is why I really wanted to do these podcasts um because the personality 
your personality comes out a lot more and your the passion <laughs> comes out a lot more when it's when, when people see you through a video yeah yeah and you did say uh, because it I, I i know i know i can feel and i'm sure the the people watching will will feel the same that you you really are passionate about it um and 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 um, i I, yeah. I wish you the best of luck i'm gonna be i'm gonna be with you all the way as long as you have me um, <laughs> and um, i look forward i look forward to seeing um shine strong become our future go-to for mental and physical health. Um, so thank you, Lucy. Thank you for, for being part of this podcast experiment. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I wish you the best of luck. And maybe we'll see you. We'll, 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 well, once you once you've got your app up and running, we can we can do another yes, one. And, and then and we can talk about the data because hopefully I'll have some data and then we can look at what we do exactly. with it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Thank you very much, Lucy. See you thank soon. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.